Hey guys, is it not enough that we make these amazing products in our shop and we do amazing things at home and putting stuff together and so forth and yet we have so much trouble with our dust collection and getting shocked and this thing not sucking up anything anymore and then constantly cleaning this damn filter. Well, keep watching. We're gonna solve these two problems with an amazing product. Full disclosure, Oneida Air sent me this product for an honest YouTube video review of the Dust Deputy Low Pro. About this new Oneida Low Pro Deluxe Dust Collection Unit. In three, two, one, let's get it. As you know, one of the biggest problems we have in our wood shop is dust collection and when you have a small shop like you can see I do because you can see my garage door right here uh, you want the smallest thing possible something easy to pull around uh, it's not going to get plugged up from dust like your shop vac does this is where the Unita unit Low Pro Deluxe comes in handy. Not three. So anything with plastic, it's hard to ground. And that's why you're getting so much static electricity. And if you stay tuned, I'll show you everything you need to know about that. Meanwhile, watch me as I assemble this. problem which you may not think about until it happens to you is on some of the units that sits on top of your bucket hang on one second so if you're familiar with this setup you're probably aware that boom it sucks that suck the middle of that uh, your five gallon bucket. The only way around that is to put another five gallon bucket and that'll stop the unit from sucking it fast. You'll see you got little bridges here which is strengthening this section up not to mention the plastic it's just a little bit more than an average bucket is. Average bucket. Let's see how that flexes. With enough suction, that thing's going to collapse on you. And that's going to create less suction for you because you're decreasing the volume of the bucket. And this, oh, I can't even. 
Uh, can't even uh, do anything with it. And then we got the, uh, the Cyclone action right here. So it's got two clips. The clip on the top of this unit right here. The bucket part of it. So. And this also is going to hook up to your two and a half inch ports of your hoses, two and a half inch hoses and fittings. One of the greatest features, it comes with this metallic tape. It goes inside our port here. It's inside the port, comes out, around, goes to this screw. And Oneida recommends you use a, a ground wire and a washer. So for demonstration purposes, I just used a chain. I had a chain, put it here on that screw, and then make sure that this unit is actually sitting on concrete. And that's gonna keep it grounded. It's gonna keep it from building up excessive amounts of static electricity and shocking the crap out of you. Trust me, it's not pleasant. Four casters, comes with self-adhesive tape to put them on. And you're good to go. It also comes with a tether. And the tether, the other end, is wrapped around the leg of your shop back. So when you move your shop rack back around, you're moving your cyclone dust collector around as well. Can you imagine having this like five, 10 years ago when you were just starting out or uh, when you worked with your grandfather or your father or your uncle or whoever taught you woodworking, how, uh, how different it would have been knowing that if I have two stage dust collection, I don't have to clean my uh, shop vac out all the time. And not only does it save you time, I think that is the biggest thing. It saves you time, because who wants to constantly clean out that uh, shop vac and uh, clean out the filter, put it all back together and do that nonsense? I don't. So with this being even better, than just a bucket with a cyclone on top. How much better does that make you uh, productive? It makes you super productive. Uh, like I said, you're not messing with uh, all the shop bag filter changes and cleaning it out, wondering why you don't have no suction and stuff not working right, plugging up. Uh, suck in the bucket fast yeah so that's what we're looking at now I'm gonna show you how well it works Here I'm blocking the hose to show you that the bucket does not collapse. And it helps if any material gets stuck in the head, it helps loosen it up to go back into the canister.
Also, if you suck up too much sawdust and don't keep an eye on the level of the bucket, some of that could end up in the vacuum, like what happened here. Other than that, this is a great unit. Okay, what'd you think? We sucked up uh, two different colors, the sawdust. Um, showed you inside of the vacuum. It got a little dustier because I think I was going too fast. I was just pulling some sawdust I already had collected uh, for this video. Um, yeah, didn't get shocked. It did what it's supposed to do. I think it's pretty cool. It's clear, you can see how much you got to go before it's gonna end up in your shop back. Uh, great little unit. Tell me what you think in the comments. Hey, don't forget to check out the discount code that I'll put down below in the description and above. And unfortunately, it ends very soon. So get yours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again.